Hey, if you're involved in network marketing, we need to have a conversation because some of you have an inferiority complex about network marketing itself. Let me be as clear as, as I could possibly be. If you have an entrepreneurial bone in your body, network marketing is not perfect, but it's better than any other form of entrepreneurship for the average person in the world. And that's not just my opinion. I can back it up. Let's start off with the initial investment. What does it take to start a traditional business in the world today? In the United States, $65,000 on average in order to be able to start a business. In network marketing, typically $1,000 or less to be able to start. A traditional business, you'll spend more on your logo and your business cards than you'll spend to start a network marketing business. Second is the potential upside. Most businesses, traditional businesses are limited. Network marketing literally has an unlimited upside. You're, we do three things in network marketing. Number one, we sell products and services to consumers using word of mouth advertising. Two, we grow a network of other distributors doing the same thing. We earn from our efforts and from the sales created by the team we build. And three, we improve the productivity of the network that we build, right? So that's what creates the potential upside. So initial investment, check. Upside, check. Third thing is the product. If you're starting a traditional business, you've got to come up with an amazing product, right? Do your homework, maybe have patents, have backup, all kinds of research. What if the product was already created for you? That's what happens inside of a network marketing business. The product is already created for you. You've got a product to be able to tap into and to be able to move into the marketplace without the burden of having to create it yourself. Next is leverage. Figuring out a place to be able to leverage your time. Now you can start an Uber business, put, put a stranger into the back seat of your car and start running people around town if you want, but can you build a team of Uber drivers out there where you earn a commission every time they put somebody in the back seat of their car? That's the difference with network marketing. You can put, put a stranger into your spare bedroom at, using Airbnb, but can you get a team of other people doing the same thing where you're earning a little bit from a larger group of people that you've involved into this profession, the team that you've grown inside this profession. So the ability to create leverage is amazing. And then you have the support involved. Typically, when you start a traditional business, you've got to be everything to everybody. You've got to be a lawyer. You've got to be a babysitter. You've got to, you know, be a janitor. You've got to be an HR person. You have to be everything. What if all, most of the support was created for you? What if the accounting was created for you to be able to track all of your sales? What if the commissions were taken care of for you when the product was shipped for you? All this support being done, that's what the network marketing companies do for the distributors involved. They provide an enormous amount of support in the company and then the networks of distributors themselves provide another layer of support. So you're not doing this by yourself, which is what happens with the traditional network marketing, or excuse me, with the traditional business owner. You get to have benefits they don't get. You get support they don't get. You're not by yourself inside of a network marketing business. Then you take a look at the skills, the skills that you have to bring into a traditional business versus a network marketing business. Inside of network marketing is very forgiving because you can start with almost no skills and you can start to grow those skills as you go. You can start to learn as you grow. You don't have to start at the beginning being perfect. It's very forgiving. On top of that, you've got flexibility. You have the ability to do this in the pockets of your life. You don't have to jeopardize your entire family in order to be able to try and make this work, quit your job and, and sell everything and borrow money from your friends and family in order to be able to create a business. You don't have to do that. You've got the flexibility to be able to do this in the side pockets of your life and then build a, an on-ramp into be able, being able to create a new life. 
That's what network marketing allows you to do, the flexibility to do it in your own time, the flexibility to expand it or contract it based upon what's going on in your life. A traditional business, once you take the leap, you're in, baby. You're all the way in. So flexibility is a huge thing. And then last, what I would tell you is the safety net involved. You start a traditional business, and let's say it doesn't work out. What are you going to do a year later? You're going to ask the world for your money back? How's that going to work out for you? Not very well, but the safety net inside of network marketing, as low as the initial cost is, as high as the upside is, the product created, the support created, the leverage created, the flexibility created, the lack of skills necessary to start, right? Where are you going to get a deal like this? Where are you going to get a, a place to create leverage like this? Where are you going to be able to create an opportunity to grow your life like this as an entrepreneur? If you've ever thought about being an entrepreneur, where else to flex the muscle to see if you got the chops, to see if you could pull this off than in network marketing? Low risk, high reward, incredible potential for leverage. Does everybody win? No, nobody, not everybody wins in every aspect of life. But th those who choose to be able to grow and learn and get better and develop their skills, grow their networks, improve the productivity of those networks, they win big time. They get all the benefits of traditional business ownership without the risks typically associated with business ownership. So if you're involved in network marketing, here's what I want you to do. Put your chin up. Put your shoulders back. We have a better way. The, the world might not understand it right now. That's fine. But don't you feel bad about something that is better than any other form of entrepreneurship for the average person if they have entrepreneurial dreams. And if you're a skeptic of network marketing, I've just given you my case. Can you beat it? If you, can, you, can you show me another entrepreneurial venture that gives the benefits that I've just described, the risk versus reward that I've just described, the support that I've just described, all the, all the different attributes that I've just described? Can you beat it? I'll bet you can't. And if you can't, maybe it's time for another look.